I'm driving around. We're going to watch this England-USA game. And I get a phone call from Empire Flippers. And they say, look, we've got someone looking to buy your site. Two years ago, pretty much to the day, I started a brand new content website. Today, I sold that website for six figures. Now, it's been a long journey getting to this point, but it kind of feels like an end off kind of a period of my life. So I wanted to do a video to kind of document this journey and this kind of experience of selling something. I've had a lot of kind of successes in the past in online business through e-commerce and drop shipping and the course business where you know you can make a lot of money very fast. However, I'd never built something from scratch and ended up selling it. And that was a cool kind of process that I did want to go through. And again, probably want to do again on a bigger scale. Now I've got this one under my belt. So in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about how I started the business or why I started the business, how much it costs to start this type of content business. And then we'll go through some of the stuff like why I decided to sell it ultimately if it was making money and how that sale process went. First up, let's jump into why I started it. I started the business back in January of 2021. This was essentially peak lockdown right in the middle of it. I'd spent the past year or so pretty much playing Warzone and drinking beer and I needed something to get going again. I'd done e-commerce in the past and then we did training courses on e-commerce and Facebook ads. And that was probably up until the end of 2019, pretty much when COVID started. And since then, I haven't really done that at all. So that year period in the middle of, you know, kind of start of 2020 to 2021, I was doing a little bit of Etsy, a little bit of YouTube and stuff like that. But I wanted to do kind of a business again, right? Something completely outside of my audience and outside of e-commerce, I wanted to do something different. I wanted to do something that was just, you know, me using my business skills and my marketing skills to build something out that was you know, completely mine and completely outside of my audience or using social media to promote it. So that's what we did. I started in January, 2021, and the first year was very, very slow. I didn't do much on it because in this business, it takes a long time to get traction. It's gonna take probably six to 12 months before you see any real growth on your website. And if you don't know, if you're watching this, the website is a content publishing business. You're essentially going out there and answering questions or creating tutorials or writing reviews and putting them on your website. These then get ranked on Google. So if you go ahead and search, you know, what is the best monitor for gaming, an article is going to pop up. There's going to be a ton of article in the SERPs. If you write good content, and you know, there's a lot more behind it than that, but simply if you write good content, you should be able to appear at the top of them SERPs. People then go to your website, you serve ads on the website, or you use affiliate links to get commissions when people buy a monitor. So that's essentially what we were doing on our website. My site was in the tech slash gaming space. Now, we went ahead and built the site and I started slowly. I was doing about 10 posts per month and I was writing them you know, pretty much just here and there at night. I wasn't spending too much time on it. It wasn't really my full-time thing, but eventually it got to the point where it could be. And that was right around kind of the one year mark. I'll actually put a clip in here because when I started the business, I was pretty confident that I could make it work. I documented this whole journey on YouTube and uploaded income reports every single month. In that first video, I said, I'm gonna grow this to 100,000 page views per month. This month, that's generally what people say. In your first month, you're gonna get nothing. Second month, probably not gonna get nothing. You'll maybe start to see some traffic trickle in over months three, four, but it takes ultimately about eight months to actually rank your site in Google fully where you're getting that full optimization. So this is definitely a longer term business model. Ultimately, I hit that goal. By January, 2022, we were going ahead and doing 100,000 visitors per month. The site was making about two to three K per month in that time frame, and things were looking good. That's when I decided to really go all in on the business. I pushed hard and for kind of up until probably March, April, May, in around that time frame, I was working pretty hard on the business. It was now became my full-time thing. And eventually we scaled it up. I think the peak month was about eight thousand dollars per month. And that's a lot of that's profit. We probably spent fifteen hundred to two grand on content, but that was pretty much the peak month. Things were growing. Now the real money in this business is exiting because you can get a 36 time multiple on your revenue, which means if you're making two grand a month, you can sell the site for about $72,000, which is a good way to kind of release equity from the website 
and take a load of cash. So I was at eight grand per month. Now, you do have to have a trailing six or 12 months to get a valuation off. You know, if you're doing eight grand this month, but you've previously done two grand every month, you're not going to get 36 times eight, right? You're going to get a blend of that. So if you can get consistency for a few months there, and I did, I got to the point where I'd done roughly about six grand, we'd peaked at eight over the past couple of months. And at that point, I thought, I can just keep pushing this. If I put a graph on the screen here, you'll see my website. It pretty much just went straight up without any hiccups for the first 18, 19 months or so. Everything was going perfect. We hit eight grand. I literally, over the summer, didn't do anything myself. I traveled a lot over the summer of July and August in 2022. I had writers on my team writing all of the content. All I would do is publish it. I could do this from anywhere. And I just published articles. So there was two months there where I didn't even really work. Things just kept growing and growing. And one of them months was the peak. It was that eight grand month. Now, this is where things really started to go south. I had planned to just keep scaling it. I wanted to get it to $20,000 per month. At $20,000 per month, that would get me probably like a six hundred dollars to $700,000 valuation if we could have that over a consistent time frame. However, in this business, like other businesses, I've found that there is no perfect business without problems. And in this business came along Google updates. Now, apparently in years prior, 2020, 2019, 2018, there was updates. And these updates seemingly, you know, if you got hit, which was kind of dramatic at the time, you would lose 15, maybe 20% of your traffic. Well, the updates that rolled out in 2022 have been much harsher in this business. People are getting hit 50%, 60, 80% hits where their traffic just falls off a cliff overnight. This happened to me. In September, I believe, is when I got my first hit. There was a Google spam update or helpful content update that rolled out, and this hit my site. I think at that period, we were doing about 12,000 page views per day, which was insane. If you think about that, like 12,000 people visiting your website, and then we peaked, we were making about $300 per day from ads, and then another 60, 70 from uh, affiliates. So we were doing pretty good, about $450 per day. I was spending about two grand on content, that was pretty damn good. But this update hits, and I think initially we get hit about 30% or so. So at this point, I got worried. I was like, I need to sell this business. I need to, to get out of it while I can. And obviously, if you sell on an uptrend, you're going to do much better than selling on a downtrend, which is what I ultimately had to do in the end. So what happened was this went down 30%. I'd seen websites that had got hit and then just repeatedly got hit again and again and again. So I was pretty terrified. So I go ahead and I list this website with Empire Flippers, which is one of the biggest brokerages out there that sells kind of web assets. So I list with them. And initially we list for, I think it was about $230,000, $240,000, which I would have been very happy with. Because again, we'd just been hit by this Google update. We're now down to about 7,000 users or 7,000 uh, page views per day. The website's maybe making $200 a day. So if I sold for that, I would have been pretty damn happy. I got a couple of offers in. This was kind of around the end of September coming into October. I did get a couple of offers and the best offer was in around like $150,000. And at that time I thought, okay, yeah, that sounds okay. Let's go ahead and do it. So I was afraid that these updates were gonna hit me again. And as we're going through that initial process of talking to the buyer, we get hit by another update. Google rolls out another update, which hits my site, and we drop down again about another 30%. So we're now down, we were doing you know 12,000 page views per day. We're now down to about 5,000 and slowly trickling down. So that completely wiped out that buyer. He was gone. He didn't want anything to do with his site whenever it was in that sort of downtrend. That was probably you know kind of mid-October to the start of September. All of that was going on in negotiations and stuff like that. So it never actually got through to an official offer where it was accepted and stuff like that, unfortunately. Now, this is when I kind of said, look, we've been hit twice. The buyers who wanted to buy the site are now pretty much gone. They don't want anything to do with it at this point. So I was thinking, what are we going to do? The site was still doing about three and a half, four grand per month. I was writing a lot of the content. Now I had pulled back on kind of writers because I wanted to save money on that side of things. And I was just doing some work again. It was winter. I was in the house. So I went ahead and got to work on the site again. And I was really just starting to you know, get into that mindset of 
Okay, we're gonna fix this. I've done a lot of work since the initial hit on improving the website, improving navigation, stuff like that, going and revamping a lot of old content. Bear in mind, there was over 900 articles on the site. I'd wrote about 600 and something of them in the two year span. So I'd done a lot of writing on this site myself. And I went ahead and I started fixing these up. Things never improved or never rebounded. Some people you'll see charts where the site just rebounds after a couple of months. I never got that, but I remember it was actually, I think England were playing the USA one night. I was driving around to my brother's house and I get this phone call and I'd completely like wrote off the idea of a sale at this point. I thought it was completely out the window. So I'm sitting here editing this video and if you've made it this far, I just wanted to let you know that there is a link down below. I'm gonna be starting a newsletter where I'm gonna be keeping you guys updated with the new projects I'm building this year in 2023. I'm gonna be building out more niche sites and I'm gonna be documenting everything in a newsletter where I do weekly updates, sharing any insights, tips and tricks, my traffic, how much I'm spending, what I'm doing with these sites. So if you wanna learn more about that and you're passionate about building these sites, make sure and check that out and sign up in the description down below. You know, no one's gonna buy it now. It's in a downtrend, we're coming into January. December RPMs and stuff like that, or November RPMs, things weren't as good as people thought they would be in Q4. There was a lot going on. We're coming into a major recession as well, but I'm driving around. We're going to watch this England USA game, and I get a phone call from Empire Flippers, and they say, Look, we've got someone looking to buy your site, and he is, you know, he's really serious about making an offer. And I'm like, Okay, well, what's the offer? So I'm not going to go into specific numbers because I'm not sure if I'm allowed to share them, but Ultimately, we ended up selling for low six figures and very low six figures. It's just over the six figure mark. Uh, and about 20% of it is an earn out deal. So the site has to meet certain metrics over the next six months uh, to, to get that earn out. Um, we did get over six figures in cash up front, but then there's that extra 20% there as well. The final offer was close to that initial offer. We got a couple of months back, so we didn't do too badly all in all. But after we got that offer, there was a lot more work to do. I got the offer in officially, I think on probably December 6th. I'm making this video on the 18th of January. We just got the funds in last week, I think on the same day last week, so about the 11th of January. So there was a month period between selling the site and the, the funds being deposited into escrow and me actually receiving the money. And during this period, I think, so we sold on officially on December 6th. I believe then it was possibly on like December 7th or December 11th, somewhere in around there, Google released another update. So that was terrifying. So during this month period, it was maybe the most stressed out I'd ever been, like not because of the work or anything you had to do, I did everything on my end, like transferring all the stuff. Uh, the buyer was maybe a little slower coming back and you know getting stuff done than I was because he was buying you know a lot of sites. He is actually picking up I think six or seven sites, so he was doing a lot of work. And to me, this deal was the only thing I had going on. To him, it was just one of many things. So whenever you're like selling, it's a lot of money. You know, it's it's six figures that is, you know, especially coming into this recession, I wanted some money in the bank, right? To go ahead and, and hold down for a couple of years. It was just nice to take that money off the table. I wanted to start some more projects. I have some ideas and stuff that I wanted to do, but this month I couldn't really do anything. I was paralyzed. I couldn't plan for the next year because I didn't know if the site was going to end up eventually going through. Maybe it gets hit by an update and gets absolutely wrecked. Who knows? And, you know, I was just sitting there doing nothing. I, you know, I was sitting on my hands because I didn't know what to do. If it went through, my plans are completely different than if this doesn't go through. If it doesn't go through, I'm going to have to fix this site up. I'm going to have to take a different approach. I'm going to maybe have to go harder on social media, do more YouTube stuff for that website. If it does go through, I can start new projects, which I'm now doing, which is exciting. So, you know, I, there was a lot of kind of in that month, just me freaking out, pacing around. You know, I'd go on to, to kind of like forums and, and Twitter and stuff like that. And I'd see people's websites getting hit. The, the update actually ended up rolling out pretty much the first week in January. And so many people's websites got hit, I think on the 7th of January, and they got hit by 50, 60%. And so many people I was seeing, and I was like, my day is just about, we're days away from getting this over the line. I just hope it holds up. And you know, I really hope it holds up for the buyer for a long period of time and they can do some cool stuff with the website. I'm excited to see that. Luckily, it did hold up through that update. And hopefully that is because of a lot of the work I did on the site prior. I think the site is actually really good. The content is really good. 
But we went ahead. It survived that update. It's doing well. The site's doing actually better since I sold it, which I don't know what's better to see the site you know, take off again, which I mean, I'd be happy. I'd be happy for the buyer to get a good deal. You know, I knew what I was getting. Um, what a, I'm a little kind of bittersweet because if it starts to go up again, it was like, well, I built that and maybe I should have held on to it. But who knows? You know, we're at this point, we've made the decisions we've made. So we let it kind of ride on and I'll be excited to see. But eventually got the deal closed like late last week. And, you know, it was it was good on a relief. It was actually more exciting getting the offer than it was when the money hit my bank account for the wire. Because at that point, I was just like relieved that it was over because I couldn't even really work in the website during that month because it's like I'm working on this, but I don't know if it's even mine anymore and, and stuff like that. So that was kind of the journey, the process. You know, as I said, we sold for just over six figures and it is just over it um, in cash. And then there's an earn out deal that hopefully we do get six months down the line, but we'll see uh, if that happens. And I'll keep you guys updated on that, but I'm excited to start some new projects. Um, another thing that really, you know, makes me happy about my decision to sell is this whole new AI thing. Now, I don't know. The more I look at it, the more I see the articles, the writing, I'm like, is this good enough to rank? Is it even good content? But then it is getting better. It's getting a lot better. And Google's going to have a problem, you know, kind of monitoring all of this, you know, all of this kind of spam that's going to be hit on the SERP. People are getting more and more like crafty with the way they're putting together articles to make them look you know, much more like a real article instead of just these people also ask sites. So I kind of am happy I sold. It feels like the last two years weren't just wasted. Over the last two years, the site made about $60,000 in revenue in terms of profit. I'll put it on the screen here. I'm not sure off the top of my head, probably about 35 grand. Um, and then we sold it ultimately for, you know, over a hundred grand. So that was pretty good. And now, I have a lot of skills as well in this space. I'm already building, already started, already got articles on a brand new site. Um, so I'm going to be starting to focus on that and push it forward. Now, I do believe a lot of people I see, like I've seen a lot of people um, in this space who make YouTube videos as well, and they start a lot of sites, like a lot of sites, and they're buying sites. And I, I see them, you know, they're, they're all over the place. They have too many sites. I don't know how they work on them. And then they end up with not very much results at all. A lot of people have you know, kind of pretty much sites get hit, they've spent money on them, you know, they're working on nine sites, but none of them are going anywhere. I think you should focus on one or two at a time. I think that is pretty much the optimal strategy. Uh, obviously, you know, I got lucky not to get hit by updates for a long enough period of time to sell the site. Uh, the first year, like whenever you're just going up, 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 you feel bulletproof, but then, you know, everyone seems to be getting hit now. So that's kind of the feelings on this website on creating it from scratch and selling it. That was cool. You know, it's cool to actually create something completely from scratch with your own hands. You know, I wrote 600 and something of the articles on there and then sell it for six figures by sitting here typing nonsense on my laptop. You know, I, I was terrible at English in school, yet I had over 2 million people read my content, which is insane to me. Um, but yeah, and it's actually like good, helpful content that people like. It gets shared on social media. People love it. So that's pretty damn cool. Now, that's it. I'm going to leave the video here. Let me know your thoughts. You know, are you thinking about selling any of your websites? I know January RPMs have been terrible for people. December was a little like the end of December was also pretty damn bad. Uh, so yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. Are you selling or have you sold any websites in the past? Hopefully the next time I make a video like this about an exit, it's seven figures and not six. But yeah, we'll see. We're moving forward. We'll see how things go in 2023.